Welcome back. Today we'll be covering DraftSite's layer feature, which separates various elements of your designs. It allows you to edit each tier individually and focus on one section of your designs at a time. To create a new layer, follow these easy steps. Simply select the Layers Manager and the Layers section of the Home tab in the ribbon. Then press New, name your layer, and choose its line color. I found changing the line colors of my layers to be super important because it makes it easier to identify which tiers my entities reside in. Once a new layer is made, it's activated by clicking on its name in the Layers drop-down menu. Likewise, if you want to change the layer of an entity you've already drawn, highlight your entity and select the layer you want to use. Lastly, while editing, DraftSite gives you the option to hide, freeze, and lock your layers. The hide icon makes your layers invisible in the drawing window. And the lock icon turns off your layers editing abilities. The freeze icon combines the two, hiding and locking your layers. However, hidden layers still go through screen regeneration each time the system regenerates your drawing, whereas frozen layers are not considered during screen regeneration. Finally, if you want to change the default layer of your drafts, select the Layers Manager, highlight your layer of choice, and press Activate. So I hope this encourages you to use layers to do more with your DraftSite experience. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit DraftSite.com.